Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we are going to learn how to create an input to our forms that only accept numbers, okay? So this is very easy. We uh, don't use the input text that is the input that we usually uh, put on our forms. Let me create a form here. And Usually, we create an input text that we just want to accept numbers, but this type of input, it accepts text and numbers. So, this can be a problem for some cases. Uh, let's say that we want to receive here the age of someone. So, the name of the input is age. Uh, we can create a placeholder of type your age here but uh, this will accept every value they can insert here so let's open this in our browser to see what happens so it's very simple we have an input that we need the age of someone let's put an age h1 here and the uh, form Tell your age and see what happens. Let's put a title here. So, if you see here, uh, we can put like uh, 23, but we don't want this. We don't we would want the age uh, by numbers. So, we want this. And how can, can we do this with this input? So, we have uh, another or other types of inputs and one of them is number so when we set the input as number we have what we want okay so as you can see here we can only type numbers now i'm trying to fill with some letters i can't but i can put numbers okay so this solves our problem but uh, something that concerns some developers or some designers is this wheel here that we can switch the numbers to another number but this usually is not on the layout so how can we remove this to our input to look better so it's easy we just need to go to a css file a style sheets file okay and write some rules okay so we have a little difference about how it works in chrome in the chrome browser and also in the Firefox. So we will write the rules to solve both. For Chrome, we need to use WebKit Outer Spin Button. This will be the selector that we can change the appearance of that wheel. Also, we can uh, select other spin, that is the inner spin button. So with these two selectors, we can hide that wheel. So let's put the rule here of WebKit appearance and we set to none and also margin as zero. For Firefox, it's more simple because you just want to, just need to select the input and put the MOS appearance to text field okay we can specify the type of the input here to number just need to put type equals number so now we are uh, solving the problem to firefox and chrome that are the most used browsers we have today okay nowadays and if you see here now when i focus on the input i don't have that wheel or that arrows and more so this is how can we hide them, okay? And if you want to use an input of type text, you can, but it will be a little harder to achieve what we want. Let's say we have another input that is of type text, and the, here we want the user salary, okay? So this. Uh, we will have the same problem that we have 
with the text input we tried before. So this will accept characters and we don't want this. But we can solve it, this problem with a regular expression. So we will, we will put here a line of JavaScript, okay? That will trigger on the user on input. So every time someone types something in that input, we will trigger something here, okay? So we will get the value of the input. These values is equal to this value replace. And here in the replace method, we will write a regular expression that just accepts numbers. So you can copy in your code this regular expression. This just look for the characters of the that were typed in our input, okay? And if they are not digits or numbers, it will replace something, okay? Like a empty string. So when we type now something that is not a number, uh, it doesn't let me type more the letters. I'm trying here, but I can't. But if I try some number, I can. So this is how we can solve the problem using the type text, but it's easier to use the number type because it is the functionality of this type. We need to know the input types to use its resources or our benefits, okay? So we don't have to use JavaScript here to solve a small problem like this, okay? So guys, this is how can we accept all numbers in the input with the type number and also with the type text. Hope you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel and also like this video if you like it how I solved the problem. So see you in the next one.